Hello Tibros, Alvin Drill here. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the BIOS version of an Aorus motherboard. This is the one, this is my machine, this is where the motherboard is. And the first thing we have to do is find what model do you have. So I'm going to turn on the machine, you can do this on Windows or Linux. And uh, while this is booting, I'm going to start pressing the Dell key on the keyboard, as you can see me doing over here. So once I do that, uh, we're going to be in the BIOS. And from here, we have to go to System Info. So we click on that, and you can see the model. B550i Aorus Pro AX. We can see the BIOS version, version F16E that came out in 2022. So that's a long time ago. There has to be a new one in 2025. So the reason I want to upgrade is because my new um, video card is not working. And I think that's the issue. I'm going to go to save and exit now that we have the model and exit without saving. Do you want to do it? Yes. So it's going to restart the machine. You can see the hours logo there. And now we're going to go to Windows. I'm going to log in. And from here, we're going to open a web browser and we're going to go to um, gigabyte.com because that's uh, the maker of ours so from here the, the website is going to look different depending when you visit it from here we're going to go to consumer at the top and support from here we go to download center uh, here we're going to type the name of uh, of your model and as you can see we have a few options which one do you have uh, point that two three one or zero so you can check your you, uh, your manual if you still have it or in my opinion it's easier to check the motherboard so this is a picture of my motherboard the one we're going to upgrade and one of the corners has this information so in my case it's next to the video card slot and as you can see it says revision 1.1 over here so that's the one i have so you might have a different one but with uh, that information we're going to go back to the website and click on one that one here is going to show us here the motherboard name and the version. We're going to click on BIOS over here and it's going to load um, all the all what it has. So you, we have the same version, the, uh, the motherboard name, and here we have all the BIOS version that this machine has, this motherboard. So this is the one I have, F16E, and we're going to scroll to the top and f21 is the latest as of today so we're going to download it you can see all the features it has once you have downloaded it's going to come in a zip format and the only thing it contains is the update as you can see and it uh, ends with f21 so uh, it's 32 megabytes the other thing that we're going to need is a usb flash drive can be two four six i mean eight sixteen gigabytes doesn't really make a difference we're going to connect it to the machine right now and after a few seconds it's going to show us the usb right it's called update letter e and as you can see it's empty so i'm going to right click on it and go to properties you can see the file system is fat 32 and that's the one we need to have not uh, windows file system which is ntfs okay if you don't have it that way what you have to do on your usb is right click on that go to format and select fat32 as you can see over here this is going to delete all the files you have in your usb so keep that in mind in my case i already have it as fat32 so the only thing i need to do is copy and paste the update here so once you have done that I don't have much to do. I'm going to close everything and I'm going to reboot my machine, as you can see over here. So the USB is still connected. OK, so one thing I have to uh, talk about is BitLocker. If you have BitLocker, meaning that um, your hard drive is encrypted, you need to get the key or pause BitLocker for the, uh, until the next reboot, because upgrading the BIOS is considered a hardware change. And after we have done that, we have upgraded the BIOS, it's going to ask you for the BitLocker key. If you don't have that, you cannot access Windows. So keep that in mind. In this machine, I don't have it. I don't have BitLocker enabled. So we're going to start pressing Dell to access the BIOS again. And from here, we're going to go to System Info. And at the bottom, you can see QFlash. So you, you click on that and it says Enter QFlash Utility to Update BIOS. So we're going to double click on, on this one. 
and is going to take us here. So the top left is going to show us uh, an overview of what we have, the model, the BIOS version, when it was released and all that. So the USB is connected. We're going to click over here and by default is going to open um, the partition, I mean, the USB flash drive that we have connected, as you can see over here. Uh, that's the name. It might look a little different, but that's what I have. So the only file that is in this USB flash drive is the update that we have downloaded from the our, from the Gigabyte website, right? So you click on that, you select it, and we're going to click on the error or next. Are you sure you want to update the BIOS? Yes, I'm sure. So you're going to click yes. And this is the verification. This takes a few seconds, like, I don't know, 30 seconds. The video is sped up here. After that, it's going to show us this on the left. Um, uh, at, the, uh, at the top is what we currently have, and at the bottom is what we are going to get, the BIOS version F21 that came out like a month ago. Of, as of the, um, uh, yeah, like a month ago. So I'm going to press Enter now, and the process is going to start. And while you were waiting, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. That really helps my channel a lot. So thank you, thank you very much. So this BIOS uh, update process takes between three and five minutes more or less. The videos is sped up here. So go, you can, you can go and grab a cup of coffee and come back. So once it's almost done, as you can see over here, it's going to tell you reboot in a few seconds. So it's going to reboot by itself the reboot after a BIOS upgrade takes longer, so don't worry about that, okay? So we're going to see the logo, and I saw this message that i never seen before in previous upgrades for uh, Aorus or Gigabyte. So it's, you can see the BIOS version, F21, new CPU install, which is not true. I haven't installed a new CPU on this machine, and we have two options. The first one is press Y to reset FTPM if you have BitLocker or encryption enabled, which I don't have. If you have it, um, you should have the key regardless that uh, I talked a few seconds ago. And the second option is press N to keep previous FTPM records and continue system boot. Uh, FTPM will not be enabled in the new CPU. So I'm going to go to option, I'm, I'm going to press N because I don't have BitLocker enabled. Um, but the um, FTPM is a feature of uh, AMD processors. So I press N and the machine is going to reboot now. So it took longer, as I mentioned before. So you can see the logo over there and it's going to, it's going to, it's loading the operating system now. So as you can see, Windows, I'm going to log in here and I'm going to show you another way to check the name of the machine and the BIOS version from Windows itself. You have to type system info. Uh, in the Windows search bar that you can see at the bottom, I, I type that and the result is system information. I'm going to click on that and this is going to open this window which has a lot of information about your hardware. So one of the lines over here, it says the model of the motherboard and a few lines above is going to show us the BIOS version. So as you can see F21 that came out like a month ago. So that means the upgrade has been successful. And that's how you upgrade the BIOS version on an Aorus Gigabyte motherboard. So maybe you want to watch one of these videos now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comments or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.